Question of the day, right? Um, is it a trick question? Oh, well, it's in the news. That's what I'm saying. You know, I mean, you have Zuckerberg up before Congress now, and everybody's talking about, well, hate speech. Did Zuckerberg comment on hate speech? Oh, yeah. Did, 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 did you didn't did listen to any of the, uh, I mean, the testimony is, obviously, that's what it's been about. You know, why the censorship that's been going on, how they can, you know, they censor conservative sites. I mean, they just... A censored uh, diamond and silk. I mean, they call them dangerous to the community. D- diamond and silk. What's diamond and silk? There are a couple of black ladies that are Trump supporters. They're comedians, and they have a blog, and they get on there and they do their little sister act, and uh, they're funny as hell. But and and Facebook uh, called them a a danger to the community because of their hate speech. Well, I want to know is what is hate speech? How do you define hate speech? So this question is in reference to a comment that Zuckerberg made in his testimony about diamonds himself. Well, in general, overall, because I mean, I've had. I've had people come up to me and said, what you're doing here is hateful. And I go, well, well, what does that mean? What do you mean it's hateful? How, uh, to whom? Uh, And what difference does that make? Do I have a right to do it? Um, Or would you stop me from doing this? Because the thing is, about the censorship, Yes. That's how uh, you can see here. We can get this all the shit together. I like it stick. It's a big stick. Yeah. I mean, this is a uh, a senator from Chicago. I mean, from California. That's passing legislation to have state-approved content. Well, who the hell is the state to go ahead to prove what can be said and what can't be said? I mean, who are the arbitrators here? Right? So uh, the question should be to find free speech, not to find hate speech. Oh, I define free speech to me. I think freedom of speech. You can say what you want. Yeah, but that apparently was, that's not that what's that happening happen. here. Because you no, have. The question, your, your question shouldn't be hate speech. It should be defined. Well, but free the speech. phrase hate speech is the one they're using. And that's what I'm saying. You know, how do you define that? And then, you know, free speech. Well, well, I, okay. I mean, you've got, you know, here's oh, Facebook. Recent fine. algorithm yeah. change is crushing conservative sites. Well, but that's largely dependent on the audience for the platform. No, no, they, it, it, they're saying they are shadow banning or completely censoring conserve the thought that they speech they don't like i mean he hugged zuckerberg in the testimony before congress there's got to be a reason why they're doing that right because they're fascist assholes the left are fascist assholes that's the ones i mean where's antifa come from who stopped the free speech in berkeley it was the left and the home of free speech they stop people from speaking. Why? Do you think that um, maybe it's because they weren't prepared to deal with kind of logistical, like possible uprisings, like violence or anything like that? Yeah, but it's coming from the left. Why would the left stop the free speech? I mean, what, you know, I go back to the old childhood limerick of sticks and stones will break your bones, but... didn't have the right systems in place to, like, to contain any violence that might... Well, why would there be violence from the left stopping it? What the hell difference does that make? Why don't you stop the people that are doing the violence instead of stopping the people that are doing the speech? Maybe sometimes public safety is, is more important than free speech. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I mean, free speech, they made the, the, the First Amendment the First Amendment for a reason. I mean, if words are going to hurt you, then you've got more problems than you can possibly deal with. I mean, what is, I mean, free speech is free speech. Yeah, I'm like, I'm 
I'm talking about physical violence, not... Yeah, coming from the left, trying to stop free speech. Why are the fascist left doing that? That's what Nazis do. That's what, the, that's what Stalin did. Specifically referencing what happened in Berkeley? Yeah, in every place else. I mean, Antifa has stopped free speech in almost every, you know, venue that you can name. I mean, uh, I went to a, a town hall meeting out with Ann Coulter last week. And, uh, Ann Coulter, uh, why do I know that name? I know I should know her. Yeah, she's a, a very prominent right-wing pundit. Mm, 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 mm. And she was one of the people that yes. got blocked in Berkeley. Yep. They yep. wouldn't allow her to speak. Right, right. And they had to shuffle her out the back, right? Yeah, so why? What's the left doing? What's the left got against free speech? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe it's specific to certain situations. Like, if you're looking at each situation where the left has shut down free speech on the right, it's... <coughs> Probably different each time. Yeah, and each time it's a fascist piece of shit liberal doing it. Mm -hmm. So why, I mean, what, again, I'm asking the question, what has the left got against free speech? I don't know. I can tell you, they're fascist assholes. Um, yeah. There's no other answer. Yeah, maybe. But then it's... Is that the way the country is going, you know? Who knows? Well, that's not the way the country should be going. I mean, again, they have the First Amendment for a reason. Right, right. The only language that should be, you know, held accountable would be libel, slander, uh, you know, possible terrorism, because that's ambiguous, too. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Are you, um, we, we travel for work all the time. So we're just we're just down what here kind of right work? Now. I work in tech and he works in art. In art? Mm -hmm. What kind of art? He's an art dealer. Oh. Sell, sells artwork. Mm. Has a gallery. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to see like all the different perspectives from each side of the country and like how it changes from region to region. Are you are you out here just for the the fest or do you do you come each day? Are you live streaming too? Yeah. Li wait, live streaming? Just filming. Oh. Wait, so do you do, do you come out every day or just whenever I want? I like Depends that. on the weather. Yeah. I mean, now it's nice, right? Yeah. yeah. And I try to engage people in conversation and stimulate some thought. Yeah. Because I don't see that happening very much. Yeah. I see crowd followers. I see people that have been ed of just completely brain dead because of the propaganda and the junk food that they eat and everything else. I mean, you know, it's like we've been dumbed down. Our IQs are dropping. People don't talk anymore. They yeah. tweet. I do love a tweet. I love a tweet. I do love that. I will give it. I I use Twitter more than I use Facebook. I never post on Facebook. Well, being in the you know in the industry, I mean, we're looking at this. I mean, we're looking at how it's changing society, and even Zuckerberg. Artificial that. intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, robotics. I mean, that's robotics. Not so much, but AI. Yeah. Well, I asked a Harvard professor out here in economics, what are AI robotic technology going to do to us in the next 10 years? Oh, massive, yeah. Yeah, and he said 50% of these people will be out of work. And I said, well, what are we going to do? Not 50%. No, I think it's more like 5 to 7%. But in in that, new new roles will be created. It'll, they'll just be more technical. So, like, the people who were once working in factories, you know, their jobs are automated by robots now, they're going to have to learn new skills to fix the robots. Or to monitor well, why the not have it, why, but but they, 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 they got robots fixing the robots now. They have a company that is... That is no, these, some robots are really complex. Look up Boston Dynamics. It's a really cool company. They make these, like, it's uh, DARPA invests in them and, and yeah. does a lot with them. Yeah. Do you know, was, yeah, yeah you know I know Boston, well. Boston there Dynamics? was an AI uh, tech Have you seen conference the robot here. dog? Yeah. Collision. You're talking about collision. They, I think that Boston Sophie Dynamics. Sophie was here about a month ago. Cool. Yeah. Um, awesome. Do you, do you need to, like, sit down and take that? We could, yeah. We're hungry. Where should we go eat? This is New Orleans, man. Right. Throw my hat. You know. <laughs> There's a good place right around the corner called Coops. 
So I, 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 I don't think I did that. Been well. there forever. All right, all right. We're going to do that. See you later. How you doing, folks? If anybody wants to contribute to my Bulletproof S Fund, any small donation is always appreciated. Unless you're a Democrat. <laughs> and then some uh, responsible Republican will pay your way through your mooch in life forever and ever. <laughs> I hear you, brother. I hear you, brother. <laughs> Are you campaigning? Yeah, I am. I am campaigning for the truth. It's a losing proposition. Yeah.